We hope that you can find some peace of mind, which one must have in the first place, in order to enable one get into the Christmas spirit, so as to celebrate and enjoy the season. We only hope that you can get into the requisite jolly mood, in order to allow yourself to be of the good cheer which defines the season of Christmas. It's going to be tough, though. Pretending that one is happy or content while one is actually suffering and dying inside is not healthy. It does not solve the pressing problems. Going through the emotions and traditions and lore of Christmas with attendant hopefulness and anticipation of salvation while being found in our current and ongoing hopeless situation in Nigeria with no end in sight is not cause for happiness and not cause for celebration, but is reason for depression. Today our land, Biafra land, is ruled by great fear arising from insecurity, oppression, and relegation of our people. The Nigerian government and its armed institutions and agents maim and kill us, loot and rape what they cannot take away from us. They are all over us, holding us down as if that were not enough. Some of our own people have turned against us too. Armed robbing, kidnapping, killing, stealing and causing injuries to us, their own people. Often with family member doing it to his or her own family. We cannot travel out and we cannot come home for fear of attack and we are just as uneasy staying at home. Can there be a worse curse? Today, schools and education are out of the question. Employment, jobs, decent or not, are an impossible dream. Entrepreneuring work is no longer heard of. There is no infrastructure to support that. Only a punishing, malignant environment designed to sink any initiative. Honesty is a rare trait anymore. Corruption and associated vices are the order of the day. Oh, do not think that these awful times caused on us by Nigeria are about to get less terrible. No. When the Nigerian Supreme Court or whatever it calls itself upheld the blatantly fraudulent forcing of Yaradua as Nigeria's president, at the same time that other courts elsewhere in the world were dishing out blinded political justice. The signal of quote business as usual, the Nigerian way unquote, was sent to Nigerians. It is a clear signal. When Nigerians are now leapfrogging and talking about 2011 and 2015, never mind that 99% of the peoples in Nigeria barely survive the current day. When that is happening, you know the feeling that they are willing to take whatever the current administration dishes out to them, no matter how bad, until regime change, which they think will happen in 2011 and or 2015. All the while, the part of their memory responsible for past events, experiences, history and attendant lessons, that part of their brain seems to have been erased. Otherwise, why can't they realize the obvious point that each successive Nigerian administration has performed so much worse than the one preceding it? Enough to make the previously truly evil administration smell like angels? Characteristically, this is all part of the mind boggle and quagmire called Nigeria. And while this goes on, there is a screaming shortage of courage People are willing to endure the unendurable and the unmentionables even after there is nothing more and nothing else to lose. They have not reacted like human beings who are fed up, who should be fed up, human beings who have had enough, who should have had enough. A condition which was reached and passed over 10 years ago anyway, except for Masab and Masab members and some pro-Biafran groups and other supporters of Biafra who actually make tangible contributions to see Biafra actualized today. They, especially Masab, have demonstrated bravery 
in the face of this brutal war of annihilation against our people. And even as we speak, Uchen Namado, the information director of Masab, and many other Masab members are still in Nigeria's jails, unconscionably held therein by Nigeria, proof of our Masab members' uncommon courage. We maintain vigil for their safe and immediate release. But how can Masab and this handful of organizations and individuals alone wrest Biafra out of the leprous clutches of Nigeria? So, fellow Biafrans, let's not pretend this Christmas. No, we are dead, dead to ourselves, dead to the world, dead to the human race. The fact is that no piece of our mind is free to embrace the peace of the promise of Christmas. No part of us is healthy enough to show cheer, never mind sharing goodwill with the rest of humanity. Not this season, not in any season. But let us all today commit to the principle that, quote, no Biafra, no Christmas. But since Christmas will be, then Biafra must be, unquote. No Biafra, no Christmas. Since Christmas will be, then Biafra must be. For it is for such as we are today that Christmas is especially redeeming, fulfilling, and meaningful. If you want Christmas, then actualize Biafra. We sure want Christmas. We must actualize Biafra. Biafra alive, because it is God who makes it so. And this Christmas, be it tangibly so.